Agatha is no more! <laughs> Hello everyone, this is the opening duel between Interus and Legion. Chuck will be playing for Legion as the Mason Knight, and Moose will be playing for Interus as the Agathian Knight. You, go with me. Yeah. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Nick, and welcome back to the uh, first ever Five vs. Five Team Objective Tournament hosted by DarkAgeGaming.com, or we, as we call it sometimes, the beginning. Joining me to co-host this time is my good friend Hydra of Absurdity. Hello everyone. All Thank right. you for having me, Nick. You're very welcome. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad you were able to. Yep, but it looks like we'll have a good match here between... Between Interitus and Legion, it looks like Toby Wan, Skylines, Java, Moose, and Bada are the lineup for Interitus, while Maximum Gentleman, Chuck That Ass, Fruit, Kumo, and Copperhead will be Mason Order for Legion. Indeed. We start off, we see one archer over on the right hand side, Java covering one of their man at arms, either Sky, it looks like Skyline. One torch up on the granary already. It looks like Interus is primarily trying to push the granary and not the market. Interestingly, they ha only have three people over on the granary and one person, or, or two people on the market, while LG has four people on the granary. And oh, only wow, one beautiful headshot from uh, Maximum Gentleman, but he unfortunately got, Moose got that torch off just at the last second, so the granary's only got one torch left in it before it burns down. Yeah, Fruit did come over to reinforce, though. The man-at-arms that was covering the market did get taken out by that archer and man-at-arms combo, but now it looks like the market is safe after having a couple torches thrown on the... Only one, threat. I think. Only one uh, torch that burnt one of the tents. And now it's going to be a duel to see who can do what now. Oh, very nice uh, use of the brandy stock from Copperhead. I didn't even see that night swing that killed the vanguard, though. Throwing axes missed. Uh -oh. nope. Ooh, Moose t fainting out Maximum. <laughs> oh, and then getting behind and taking out Bada. At least he killed somebody, right? That's the important thing, right? <laughs> exactly. Looks like Skylines and Javim will be working in tandem. You see Javim trying to pick off the back of that man of arms. Oh, he's <laughs> he tried to go for the torches, but then... Oh, nice try from Akumo. Very, I thought he did a good job holding them off. But now there's just yeah. going to be a torch jamboree over here. Yep, they do have three over by the torches. Two actually thrown. Nice uh, crossbow the from Maximum Gentleman. But I think, yep, that's it. The uh, market's been burnt down. Now that all that's left, uh, left is the granary and the crop fields. And the crop fields are very. I mean, it's pretty much impossible to defend the crop fields. Yeah. And it looks like the um, granary already has some a good burn going on it. Yeah, I mean, remember we saw those two torches earlier, and I saw another one just now, so... Yup, Moose! Oh! Chuck tried to get him while Moose had that torch in his hand, but he wasn't able to, and it looks like that might be the last torch. Yep, that yep. is, uh, in fact. All that's left is the fields now. Usually yep, you see those go up first. <laughs> yep, this is an incredibly fast objective for this time. Usually the objective takes a little bit longer, so this will give them a lot of time for that much length objective that cart push now personally I, I, I usually see that more defense centered around the market because it's usually harder to get around and throw torches and everything over there yeah the market is usually taken out first from what I've gathered as well however they did send a rather even um, spraying of two to the right and three to the left initially so that did create some odd situations and eventually nice Maximum Skyline. Gentleman couldn't get close to prevent them from getting the torches over on the right hand side which allows them to take out the market extremely quickly if they have a lot more pressure so over So wait them. a minute, what's left? Oh right, okay, so the one field. So now they somehow have to defend both torch piles. <laughs> okay. 
You know, the, it's odd though, they've actually been able to hold off these fields for long, long enough that it's actually going to make a difference, at least. Well, they didn't really focus on the fields, you know, they were just focused primarily on the granary and the market. Oh, and what were you doing, Chuck? You should have turned your... Uh, whatever. That's the first objective done. Yep, and what is of special note is that 5.57 was the time that um, was left on the clock. The way that this te um, tournament is scheduled is that if neither of them can complete that second objective or they um then what will happen is the time for the preceding objectives <laughs> which is just one for this map will be taken looks like copperhead decides to go balls deep yeah both of them did they went right through the fire that was great they didn't they don't even no fucks given exactly but that quick first objective could play dividends here oh check that ass taking out musa over on the side. Oh, all three of them converging on Bada to just dismember his head. Yeah, he really stood no chance there. Chuck that ass doing a quick uh, swing with that falchion taken out to Toby Wan. And now they're trying to get him off the bomb cart. Oh, I think the archer's in trouble. Oh, he managed to jump away at the last second. But his skyline still went down. staying close to the cart, so even while his plan is fighting, he was a, that cart has been moving most of that time, inching nice forward, and now it looks like it will be stopped for the immediate time. This. You do see reinforcements over on the left hand side coming Ooh, in. Beautiful throwing axe onto Copperhead there. Let's see here if LG can get back up. Or maybe they're just going to try to defend further back? Seems My guess is that they're going to try and group up so that they um, don't do that little meandering in that they just did. This is an objective that is really hard to take if you meander in and they have their five there. It just is not something that is very doable. So, we'll see. I, it looks like they're going in a little bit early, and this will allow, it looks like Toby Wan's going around for the flank. Chuck that ass is able to take out Bowder really early. But now, because Fruit gets taken out quickly, even though they did have a um, early pickoff on Bada, they really don't see too much advantage from it. Heart has been stopped for now. I I always thought that this was the one spot you could use the ballista reliably because you know that bridge is narrow and where you can move the cart, so it can actually work to be shooting enemy people while they're uh, trying to push it, and also around that curve a little bit. But uh, so far, none of the LG guys have used the ballista. Although we did see a little bit of int using the catapult, but only for like one shot. Yep, and that um, that cart is moving, or it was moving because it had three Imperatus on it. Whoever has more people at the cart will let it move. Ooh, dropping the crossbow going into melee range, though Maximum does get taken out by a nice bow. I thought both those vanguards were going to get their shots off, but uh, oh, holy smokes, beautiful fire pot. Might take out oh, one of those guys. Beautiful shot on Javum, giving Moose just a little bit more life before Kumo's blow was going to look like it would land, but as we can see, that didn't save Moose for very long. Kumo and Chuck Daz getting taken out over on the right-hand side as well. He's just having a really hard time taking out any of the uh, Int guys at the moment, but I'm pretty confident they'll get stopped up here in the coming area. Yeah, this map does get increasingly more difficult on this objective the further that it goes into Mason territory for the Agathians. And it looks like Interitus is pushing this fairly handily through the first stages. And there Toby Wan tried to think delayed some of those guys, but he just got taken out as well. And a fire pot down on the cart. I think it was an idea for the archer, but didn't hit him at all. And a beautiful long range overhead with that axe. Yep, Moose and Skylines were teaming up. We're doing a nice fainting coordinated thing so that Copper couldn't, or um, that um, Fruit couldn't really block. Moose taking out Copper and um, Chuck that ass though, and it looks like that Archer is going to say, hey, I can push the cart and still affect the battle. But Max oh. and gentlemen coming up from behind and saying, yeah, you'll affect the battle with your dead body. Pretty much. He does not, was not expecting that crossbow to the back, and I mean, it was just like the, you know, cloak and dagger in the night. Mm -hmm. Now I'd like to see if Interitus does want to send some people forward ahead. It looks like they're going to try and um, send Toby Wan. They're just not aggressing at this point. They really want to get their lines ordered up. Yeah, they've had, they haven't had any kind of line. They've just been frantically trying to stop the cart. But now they finally have everybody alive. Both teams have everybody alive, though, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. The catabolt has been manned. It looks like it's going straight down on the cart area, but it, so far it's been a miss. That was a long-range fire pot. Yeah, it doesn't look like it got too much. 
Kumo looking to try and get the back of Toby Wan, but Javin able to take him out over on the side. You see that Brandon Stock trying to hold back the knife from getting in the cart, but then once he sees the archer, he backs off. It's looking like Interitus is going to, oh, handily, without losing anyone. Oh, I did lose Bata. Well, bad. Bata just died as I was talking. Now this is the other part here where it can be very hard to push the car if they stop, if they get stopped here. Yes, it looks like the fire pot will go out. I hear some cries of pain. Yep, that so. man at arms on fire, and uh, the masons are converging now. Nice uh, hit from the fruit, fruit. Excuse me. No fruit. I said it right. <laughs> from the fruit. And, and then he does another one. He's going up. He's trying to get behind that archer. Yeah, with fruit going to town with that halberd there, showing why it's arguably an overpowered weapon. <laughs> yeah, the hal halberd is an incredibly versatile weapon. It is can stab incredibly well. The overhand's great. The slashing is even great. It's receiving a moderate Combos nerf in the upcoming patch, but many people still argue that it's a little strong. Yeah, that's, but um, like it or hate it, it's seen a lot of use of it in this tournament and the previous tournament so far. Just like we have seen the uh, Danax, even though that's another uh, controversial yep, weapon. Yep, and you actually see the, the Vanguard on... In Vanguard on... Yeah, the hitbox on the Danax is notorious. Yep. Nice, uh, nice jump with that uh, brandy, brandy stock from Copperhead there. Looks like LG starting to get their act together here. Uh, they've pushed up their defensive line a bit. We'll see how long they can hold them uh, here. <laughs> archer on archer combat here. <laughs> nice try, Javum. I mean, he did manage to take out the enemy archer, but then he got killed as well. I think it was kind of a personal revenge story that one. I think Height has uh, disconnected from the game for now, but that's okay. So we're going to keep recording, and he'll be back in as soon as he reconnects, I'm sure. Uh, Interus has taken control of their catapult again. They fired one shot off. Actually, Mike, if you... Yeah. Okay, so you're still in Skype. Uh... My roommate. Uh... LG still managing to hold their line up around the cart, preventing any of the interest guys from getting on it. But their vanguards are having a hard time now. Oh, nice try, Copperhead, but he was taken out. And at this point, it's four interest guys on the cart and nobody to stop them. I'm looking, watching the spawns, waiting for somebody to come here. All right, looks like. Pred all of the uh, LG are coming from that one th side, my left, and one from the right. And this point, it's almost do or die. Okay, LG off to a good start, taking out two Ventures guys. A third Moose and Jab, and now it's just one left here. Uh, either way, the cart's been stopped, and it's just probably a matter of time until, yep, Bad Eye goes down to a crossbow. Beautiful job from Maximum Gentlemen. Good use of crossbow, uh, something that we don't always see a lot. But I think he's done a fantastic job with the, this match. So now the cart's been held, but it's way up by the city gates, and there's still 7 minutes and 33 seconds left. So it's not looking very good for LG to stop them completely right now. At this point, they're just trying to run out the timer, I think. Fire pots go out from both sides. It's a lot better, taking... Uh, setting out the vanguard on fire. We'll see if LG can hold off the int to maybe push up their lineup, or if this will be it for them. Oh, friendly fire from Toby Wan on the skylines. Oh, and in return friendly fire from Chuck on the Kumo. Wow, great headshot from Javum. And that looks like it's gonna be it, as the whole LG side is dead, pretty much. And they're not gonna get there in time to stop the cart. So it looks like it's going to be about 6 minutes, you know, 30 seconds-ish, before that bomb cart goes off. And you can see that it's lit. And there goes the archer. So, the timer's still counting down here. Let's see what it says. 
Okay, so 411 on the burn uh, farm and 627 on the bomb cart. So we'll see just how far Interest can uh, get defending. Or excuse me, excuse me, we'll see how far LG will get attacking when the team switch sides here. And I will cut the video and resume when we've restarted. And we are resuming the match now. This is the second round of the uh, same match with Int vs LG. Int are defending now, obviously, and LG are attacking. Looks like LG is going balls to the wall, attacking through the marketplace. But they're taking a lot of attrition on the way, and it looks like their first wave was fended off quite handedly. They still have plenty of time to get past this objective, though, so we'll see what they can do. So far, the, both the teams are still the same. Nobody's traded out or anything. It's, and like, doesn't look like the classes have changed at all either. Very nice combo from Toby One. And this poor man at arms is in trouble, but he's doing his best. Very nice overhead. Ah, oh, but he did not get his block up in time to stop Toby One. Good try, Kumo. All right, look, let's see if anything has been burnt down so far. Oh, wow. Maximum Gentleman was going for those torches, but Javim took him out with a air quick arrow. Nice try nonetheless. <laughs> Chuck doing his best to defend, but no luck. Going over the classes real quick. Chuck is a knight. Maximum is an archer. Copperhead is a vanguard. Fruit is a vanguard. Kumo is men at arms. For Interis, uh, Toby Wan is a vanguard. Badit is a knight. Javam archer. Moose knight. And Skyline's men at arms. Alright, we got some torches going out here now. Badit is trying to. S or, excuse me, that was Moose. Moose tried to stop them, but he's got killed. And the marketplace is undefended completely. I'm pretty sure all the stalls are going to get set on fire here. There's just one more in the back that they haven't raised yet. Ooh, Kumo did a great job there, but uh, wasn't able to get his overhead down in time. And they're fighting with burning marketplace all around them must be an interesting experience. Moose goes down, followed by Copperhead. And now it's two knights versus the world. Can't blame them for using shields, since they have to contend with so much feints that the interest guys like to use and abuse. So, uh, good, uh, good call there from LG using the shields to the greatest effectiveness. Now they're running with a torch after the marketplace has been burned down completely, and it looks like he's going just straight for the granary. Oh, well, uh, nice try, Chuck. At least you got your torch off on the granary. I'm pretty sure it's only got one more in it. Then they gotta do the fields. I should probably send one more guy down to. Oh, nope, there goes the granary. Great job there from the. Uh, didn't see who threw it. Great job from LG. Now they just need to field. So far it's been the same order as last time, pretty much. Very beautiful headshot there. Wow, two beautiful headshots from Javum. Showing that he's a pretty good archer in his own rights. Alright, now the hard part. Uh, Interest has to cover both torch piles to really stop them from torching the fields. <clears throat> we'll see what happens here. So they're sending most of their guys over to the marketplace. If he can draw them away from this pyre, then they might be able to let his teammates get up in time. Oh, wow. Two pokes got him around his block. Nice try, Chuck, nonetheless. Let's see if he can take out this knight here with his throwing axe. Nope. I'll, go, you know, I'll keep watching this engagement here. Nice try, Bata, but he, uh, that sprint attack, beautiful sprint attack of the spear. And now both, both vanguards just trying to get their torches off. Alright, one of the fields is on fire, that's just one left. If this knight's dead, okay, this knight's dead, vanguard's running for it, he's running, he's trying to get there fast. Go, 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 go. He's in the safe, he's in the clearing, and there you go. So I'm pretty sure that LG did manage to get the first objective done faster an int, but we're going to continue on and see what happens to the second objective.
Oh, very beautiful fire pot. I think that's Bada who's set on fire. Kobe One Kenobi just got pigged with a throwing axe. Let's see where he was, if I could find his body. Ah, uh, no luck, I'm afraid. No, oh, no, it's on top of the hill there. Bada just went down as well. A uh, bunch of friendly fire to go in place. That's why you have to be careful with build these vanguards. And Chuck with the quick slash onto Moose, who was unable. Well, he tried to uh, he tried to do a hit trade kind of, but he wasn't able to get that even in. So, all of LG's pushing the cart now. Ooh. Okay, I see some trouble going on with the catapult. Let's go check that out. Oh, it looks like Interest is trying to turn that catapult onto the cart. Even though he's getting, getting a bit of getting pegged with archer fire. He still manages to get a shot off, but it's going to go left and really not hit anything. As the men-at-arms and the archer fight it out, more catapult shots are going down. This one, on the other hand, could be very beautiful. Uh, Toby Wan actually was on the ballista and took out Chuck. And the catapults are just going to keep coming here. Bam! Takes out Kumo. That catapult could start to be trouble, but the cart's getting still getting moved, which is the important thing here. However, it's stopped right now, which is very bad for uh, LG. They want to keep that moving at all costs, pretty much. Ah, nice try, LG. We'll see if they uh, if they regroup and attack again. Oh, jab taking out maximum from a good distance away. Very nice shot. Both archers showing uh, showing off their skills this map. LG's not waiting around. Looks like they're going to go straight in. Ooh, very nice hit from Fruits there. The melee combat started. Bata goes down, followed by Maximum Gentleman again, who was picked off by a headshot with an arrow. Moose killing multiple enemies, but he's in trouble. Great duck followed up by an overhead. And interest survives another wave of assault. I'll see if things get any better here. Maximum Gentleman's been picked off twice in a row. He's probably yearning for some revenge. LG moving in again. They need to get on that cart, get it moving. Ah. Oh. Wow. Ah. Oh. Interest only lost one guy there due to the crossbowman, and he's dead too now. So they're really putting up a staunch defense here. Eleven minutes, eighteen seconds left. Still time, but they need to get that moving. Javim is just wreaking havoc on all of LG's forces. The cart is moving a little bit though, which is important. Uh, Chuck doing his and Fruit doing their best. Oh, both missing and Moose managed to get it turned faster. Interest guys very wounded after that engagement, but the cart hardly moved at all. A long range archer drill going on. Throwing axes both missed here. Ah, Kumo goes down to Bata. Vanguard is out of stamina here.
Oh, Javam does manage to take out Maximum Gentleman, but he team kills his teammate in the process. Fruit goes down to Skylines, but a good try nonetheless. Again, that cart just not wanting to get moved up here. It may be worth considering to uh, try using the catapult. Nine minutes in so far, which I think only means that there's three minutes left to get that cart to the gate. Copperhead just could not deal with the two people that were on him. Nice poke in the back. Oh, jab him, taking out Chuck again. Even around the shield. Oh, and a bit of team kill that time. And now, oh, beautiful poke from Fruit doing a little zigzag there and taking out Javim. He's the sole survivor of that huge engagement. Great job. And now the cards getting pushed, but they really need to pick up the pace. They can't afford to get held down like that for a few minutes again. That archers cause a lot of trouble for him. If, if they can take him out, it might be a great, uh, great boost to LG here. So much close range attacks going on, and these you know, people are just trying desperately not to hit their teammates too much. LG managed to get cut off again with 7 minutes 30 left on the clock. Oh, beautiful long range shot from Maximum Gentleman. I think it hit him right in the back there. Oh, uh, but Javim took him out again. Wow, Javim is just being a phenomenal archer this year with broadhead arrows in the last are not easy to shoot at long range, I can tell you. Whoa, great hit from Copperhead and Chuck. They got the cart moving. Nice try at the bandy sock. Oh, gotta be careful with your team fire with those halberds and, and uh, pokers like that. Alright, Copperhead takes out Bata. Oh, Javim taking out Kumo with an arrow. Bam, I mean, he must have been wounded slightly, I think. Nice try, Copperhead. The cart has been pushed up a little bit, a good bit farther, but only six minutes, thirty seconds left. I think uh, I, I forgot the time already, but I, I'm thinking that they don't have a lot of time left to get that up to the gates. Nice long-range poke on the men at arms. Fire pot's gone out. Sets two of their guys on fire. Oh, another great poke. On and they took out Beta and Moose. They still have to deal with that archer, but they need to get on the cart and stop worrying about the, that lone archer. Oh, <laughs> Fruit not caring about team killing. Poor Maximum Gentleman had had a great round um, last round. I assume, yeah, a great round last round, but just not going well for him this time. Between the team kills and archer duels and what have you. Firepot goes out and misses. Still trying to keep it moving at all costs. A, man, Skyline having a hard time dealing with those long range vanguard pokes. Great overhead, the halberd. There's just some enemies over everywhere. Ah! Oh, and Javum taking out fruit again. That's the danger when you have a lot of vanguards and uh, you no, know, no shields. Can be hit killed on one hit with a bodkin at the head. Jab him, taking out Maximum Gentleman. Gentleman really wasn't in a good position there. He was in a very bad spot, you know. He had the high ground up on that wall. He could easily just jump out and shoot him. Five minutes now in the battle. Let's see if LG can make another breakthrough. Oh, Maximum Gentleman team killing Chuck S. And Copperhead team killing Kumo. Ugh, now it's just a little fruit against the world again. Over both these knights are low on health and stamina. 
nice overhead onto Moose and a quick feint. Doesn't manage to get, oh, oh! Very great engagement going on. Uh, Bata missed his swing though and Fruit punished him for it, hardcore. <laughs> now the uh, archer has been beheaded. Fruit doing an amazing job with that halberd. Even if it is a bit OP. Firepot goes out and misses. Kuma with a quick overhead on the moose. Wow, and a very, just a beautiful dodge and overhead onto that vanguard there. And now everybody's switching targets around left and right. You got the cart moving. This lone men at arms gets poked in the back by Chuck. So far, this is uh, that's the best uh, engagement I've seen LG do since they got across the river. They really need to get their crossbowmen firing more. He could be doing so much more, but I think he's been scared, you know, by that uh, enemy archer. <laughs> Ah, Chuck Ass getting hit in the back by Bad. I probably didn't even see him coming. The cart's been stopped again. Yeah. Only three minutes left. Even if they do get the cart all the way there, I'm pretty certain LG is lost just because interest did the map faster. But nonetheless, it was a very good try. Hopefully they can at least get the bomb to the cart, uh, bomb cart to the gate. Finally, Maximum <laughs> taking out Bata, but then he immediately gets hit by Javim again. Javim doing just a phenomenal job of anti-archer duty. And being quite good defensively as well. They've had a hard time killing him. Only two minutes left in the battle. Chuck being very surrounded, and now... <laughs> I think that's fruit up there. <laughs> So it wasn't that much he could do against all those enemies. Nice job from Copperhood taking out Toby Wan. Javum picking off Maximum Gentleman again. Bada takes out Copperhead in revenge for that kill on his teammate. Let's see what Kumo can do here. Ah, nice try from Kumo killing. Now more LG guys have gotten up to the front. They really want to get that. They really want that cart to the, get to the gate. Only, oh, Chuck shouldn't have dropped his defense. He was nowhere near far enough away. He learned that the hard way. Copperhead getting taken out again by Bata. Nice turn and thrust, but it was blocked. Maximum was taken out by Skylines. Ah, Fruit's been <laughs> delegged, I'm afraid. Although he did get on the card a little bit. And only 30 seconds remain. I don't think they're going to get the cart to the gates even. Jab him with 24 kills, only 9 deaths. You can see just how well he's been doing. Maximum Gentleman, 7 kills, 20 deaths. It's just been a very rough game for him, even though he did really well last round. Great try from LG. You know, they push really did a, a fantastic job on that first objective, but they could not get through on this one. Uh, either way, you know, good game. Everybody's saying good game, and I would agree. Well, interest will take the victory for this match. I thank you all for watching as we will continue our coverage from the first ever 
Dark Age Gaming 5 vs 5 Team Objective Tournament. Oh, I'm Dr. Nick, and we'll see you in the next game.